What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick, as always, and call me Touch for Ninja. And today I have some early gameplay footage. Well, not this video right here, because this video was taken from a recently released trailer Bethesda sent out last week. I think this is the No More Nazis trailer. But the demo of the game kind of starts right away with a cutscene. I don't like talking through cutscenes. You guys don't like it either. But I wanted to, first off, have to get FTC stuff out of the way. I captured this gameplay at a New York event Bethesda held last week. And and they provided my flight no accommodations because I did stay the night and yeah I got to play the demo I got to record the gameplay footage I am NOT getting paid any sort of money or any sort of compensation to make this video and that's pretty much the world we live in with the FTC and YouTube these days and the YouTube dreaded adpocalypse that's struck in many a channel is something I kind of want to talk about as well because it's kind of a throwback because I'm making this video knowing that most likely I'm not going to make any sort of money on it. It's basically kind of back in the day when you did YouTube for basically for the funsies. And that's basically how I started my channel like six years ago. And we're pretty much doing the same thing because YouTube doesn't believe in heavily violent games or horror games or any of that type of stuff. Which this game has <laughs> lots of violence and hats and spades. but. We're going to talk more about a little bit later, that a little bit later, and we're going to jump right into the cutscene right here. Sorry there's no subtitles, I didn't have a chance to enable them, but yeah, enjoy, and we'll catch up with you guys in a second. Grace! Grace! Shh, shh, motherfucker, don't wait, Abby, I'll break your idiot neck. I got you, the New Orleans dossier. I'm sorry. It took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. <laughs> Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history. Chronicling the hunt and capture of Terra Billy. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terra Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For the longest time I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance. Leader. Named. It's Horton. I I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm-hmm. Horton. It's funny even the second time. Horton and his crew were holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the USO Blazkowicz. I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you need this boat? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> and that's where YouTube slaps the non-advertiser friendly tag right there. Tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. is counting on us, my brothers and sisters. Oh, it's 
snake entry. <laughs> it's so good. Blaskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. Alright, so at the very beginning of this demo, the people kind of running it told us they were going to give us a shit ton of upgrade kits and we could upgrade whatever weapons and how we saw fit. And the weapons of this game are actually really cool. Kind of like on, on like Insomniac level guns. Insomniac makes probably the best guns in the video game industry. They could probably just make guns for studios, but anyways, they're busy making Spider-Man these days. But yeah, so I fast forward through all the upgrades. As you can see, you can toggle through different options, different scopes. I pretty much just upgraded the first three weapons. And once again, as you can see right here, dual wielding returns. And in terms of gameplay, it felt great. Uh, this was the PC version of the game, even though I was playing it with an Xbox One uh, gamepad, because that's how I do. Much to the chagrin of all you PC enthusiasts out there, I like playing with my gamepads, okay? Alright, I'm not a um, CSGO wizard here, I just like playing with a gamepad because... I like my backseat couch experiences. But anyways, so talking about the gameplay, um, you're going to feel right at home. As you can see, we have body armor as well. Uh, this first area where there's uh, a group of Nazis as well as the Panzers. And you best suited to take out the Panzer first. And yeah, it plays a lot like, in, in terms of mechanics, a lot like the original Wolfenstein, but the biggest difference is that they sped everything up using the Doom feel to it, where everything just real, feels very fast. If you guys played uh, Doom from last year, you'll know exactly what I mean. When you sprint, you <laughs> go, man. You, you sprint. Just, you get going. Everything just feels fast and snappy and it feels awesome. So, it's a hybrid between the original Wolfenstein, uh, the New Order, as well as last year's Doom, which is just, just so good on so many levels. And as you can see right here, based on those fire effects, the PC of version of the game runs butter smooth everything just feels so awesome it feels so great and in general the games as you can see the game based on the cutscene just looks absolutely sexy um the cutscenes actually kind of give me the new orleans mafia 3 vibe uh despite all the problems that mafia 3 had with its story not story sorry was the best thing in mafia 3 uh in terms of the problems that Mafia 3 had with its gameplay becoming rep repetitive like halfway through the game. Uh, the story in Mafia 3 was top notch in my personal opinion and, and the cutscenes kind of just gave me that feel to it. So if you combine like the storytelling of Mafia 3 with the gameplay of uh, Wolfenstein as well as Doom then you have a recipe for uh, Al Caliente game, in my personal opinion, it just feels good. Uh, this first area right here isn't probably the most, I would say, stimulating of gameplay because I'm starting off pretty cautiously right here. Uh, the, where this game really shines is when you start running and gunning, going as fast as you can, dual wielding, clearing out, throwing tomahawks if you want, clearing out enemies and all that types of stuff. And yeah, that's. I think we'll get into that a little bit later, but once you get the feel for the game, once again, I was kind of in this early stages, kind of feeling everything out, um, it becomes a lot more fun to play, even though when you sprint and try to go around corners dual willing you will die a lot but i think like i said that's where you have the most fun when you're playing um this iteration of wolfenstein it's just it's great it's fun it's awesome to play so there are a couple of mechanics that you guys have probably noticed that stilts right there where i stood on this metal stilt and kind of summon those out of nowhere uh that comes by just double tapping on uh, the jump button and then you'll see another one a little bit later where you sprint and you can pretty much stroll the charge into um, weak 
weak uh, structures such as broken walls and if you actually sprint into low armored enemies they'll actually explode into a, into a pile of guts. It's, it's really cool. There's another one which is basically kind of like a stealth mechanic that allows you to travel through a tunnel way. Uh, I was told that there was an option for that based on how you traverse through the map but I actually never encountered that um, that option so yeah basically when they before the demo started they told me try not to approach it as a stealth game which I generally try to do because I love my stealth game you guys probably know I love my Metal Gear Solids I love my splinter cells uh, they said don't do that just have as much fun as possible and that's how you're gonna get your most enjoyment out of the demo and that's what I tried to do a little bit later once I got a little bit more of a feel for the game and that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about the gameplay. Well, for now, in this first episode anyways, things are about to get crazy. I'll talk about a little bit more in the second half of the second part of this series when we introduce more elements. And what I'm going to talk about now is... The big easy. Can't undo your tragedy. But I can punish the people responsible. Oh, Blaskowitz. Always have me thinking deeply. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about now is the whole YouTube adpocalypse thing that's going on on the platform right now, which has kind of surfaced within the last couple months. I haven't made a video to really address it quite yet because I don't think there's really much I can say, uh, and I don't think there's really much uh, for me to personally gain out of it because uh, there, it's just. It's, it's just gonna be an infuriating thing where people you gotta have one side that agrees with you then you can have another side that says you should just get a real job and all that type of stuff so I'm gonna hide my opinions inside this video and for the people who actually want to watch the video you'll get to hear them anyways uh, so yeah the whole YouTube ad apocalypse thing like I said at the beginning of this video it's kind of it feels it's such a throwback because I'm making a video right now where I know for a fact that it's not going to be advertiser friendly and I know this because uh, pretty much the majority of my first Wolfenstein series of the original game that I did a couple of years ago, almost all of those videos, I mean, like, I mean like all of them, got claimed as not advertiser friendly so that means I'm not making any sort of revenue on them and I find that that's the same thing with The Evil Within as well. Pretty much all, I just played The Evil Within this year for the very first time and pretty much all my videos got claimed <laughs> for not advertiser friendly which basically means that YouTube won't place ads on those videos and the only revenue I would generate from them is basically ad revenue from YouTube Red which is a very very minute amount of income in the overall arch of my total income for the year and per month and yeah like I said that's it brings me back because that's how I started my channel six years ago I started my channel six years ago playing Modern Warfare 2 and doing Call of Duty videos and then I did that for like a year and a half and then I realized I wasn't really getting much further on the platform doing the exact same thing everyone else did so I transitioned to Let's Plays and that's pretty much where we are today and yeah it's been an awesome ride thus far and YouTube is an ever-changing platform it is and you're pretty much subjected to uh, their decisions whether you agree with them or not they like to change things without really contacting the creators and that's pretty much where we stand I'm gonna shut out over the platform right now because I, because if it's not if I can't make money on this video I might as well just say my piece with it so yeah and even if videos aren't being claimed for being labeled as non-advertiser friendly, in general, it's pretty much this year, 2017, has been the death of first-person shooters because not only are videos not being claimed for... Wow, wow, those particle effects are really pretty. And as you can see, you die pretty quickly as I'm admiring the particle effects. Um, so even if the videos aren't claimed for, as non-advertiser friendly, uh, in general, First person shooters on YouTube, ad revenue is pretty much non existent. So, if you're a channel that focuses primarily on creating like Battlefield or Call of Duty videos, then 
You're pretty much shit out of luck because the advertising for those games are absolutely terrible. <laughs> so you're looking to do something new at this point right now. If you're still trying to make a living on YouTube and I don't know why I threw that grenade there. And you've what, specialized in FPSs and that's pretty much... There's nothing you can do. You gotta do something else. And I'm lucky, um, fortunate with your guys' tremendous support that I'm able to play basically almost anything that I want. Basically, from um, Lego games to, to the other extreme Wolfenstein games or even more things. And I can pretty much play whatever I want. And I don't think that I'm gonna be in a position <laughs> where. I will not be able to do this in the foreseeable future. I really hope not. Um, but that being said, if I, I'm fine, personal myself. I know for a fact that I, if I, this whole YouTube thing just dissolves one day, I, I have different options in life. I did go to university. I did get a university degree from a decent school. Uh, but I wouldn't have it in any way. I would st like if I was still, if I wasn't doing YouTube as my primary source of income, I'd still be doing it. I, I'm not going to say and lie to you guys that it wouldn't be at the, it would be at the scale that I would be doing it now because that wouldn't be possible because I would actually have a job. But I still would be doing Let's Plays for you guys and different types of videos. Uh, not at the same level, but I just would be doing them for fun. Yeah, like this video. This video I know I won't make any money on, uh, but I thought that you guys would be interested in seeing some video from Wolfenstein. And I thought the game was fun, it was cool, it was awesome to play, and I thought you guys would enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me. Uh, sorry I decided to hide in a little bit of a rant in a video, but um, yeah, as you can see, tackle people to make them explode. Uh, I thought but I, I would share my personal opinions of what you guys, what I personally thought about the whole YouTube adpocalypse thing uh, as of right now. And that'll be pretty much it for me for part one of this. You'll we'll run into another scene which I will be unsuccessful and that'll be the end of this first video and then at the beginning of the next video we get actually a really cool cutscene as well so you guys can look forward to that. We are moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Early made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> excited. <clears throat> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Back sauce. And but until then, thank you guys as always for your support. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, drop the video a quick thumbs up. It really does help support the series and the channel. And with more likes, it lets Bethesda know that these pre um, preview events are definitely worth your time, and you guys are actually interested in seeing them. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. As always, have a best day.